Welcome to update 3.7 of the Stream Deck Media Plugin. Apart from some new images, this update is all about what I call translation scripting. But let's start with the images. I have gotten complaints about the default key images that are used when you create a new button that couldn't be used for just about anything. Even if you only wanted to display some title, you had to change the image since the text wasn't readable on the old images. So I have created new ones that works better with titles. And there are some highlighted versions available in the plugins images folder if you are interested in that. This version has some additions to the script engine. First, you can now send and receive pitch bend messages from scripts. And second, you can now use an asterisk to define that an event should trigger on any value. So these event definitions are the same. So translation scripting, what is that? In short, what I call translation scripting is when you use scripts to help implement things that are not natively supported by the plugin, such as using the latch functionality of the note on off buttons for articulation, but sending program change commands to do the actual articulation control or having dials send pitch bend or channel pressure messages or something else they aren't designed to do. I will do a separate video as a guide to translation scripting, so keep your eyes open for that if you want more details. And if you are not interested in translation scripting at all, you can skip the rest of this video. Translation scripting can be done using the script button, but it has some drawbacks. You must reserve a button for the script, and that button must be active for the script to work. So if you switch to another page or profile, the script stops working unless you have copies of the script button on all pages. So this is where the new feature in this update comes into play. You can now have background scripts that are always active regardless of which page or profile is loaded. There is a new administration action available that you can load on a button when you need to configure background scripts. You can have up to four scripts running in parallel and you configure them using this action. This action doesn't need to be loaded for the background scripts to run. They will be loaded when the plugin is loaded and they will run until the plugin is uh, unloaded. So you can load this action on the button when you need to make changes and then you can delete it. There are some limitations to the scripts uh, since they are run in the background. They do not have a direct contact with any button, not even when this administration action is loaded. So the scripts cannot react to press and release events because they, these events are not routed to the, the scripts and they cannot execute text or image actions because there is nowhere to display those. Apart from that, the scripts should work as when loaded on a script button. This version also introduces the concept of plugin internal MIDI ports. I will explain the usage of plugin internal ports more in the translation scripting guide, but just be aware that you have internal media ports available in the plugin. And the number of ports you have is decided by this field. So if I say I want five ports, I will have five ports available in the list. And if I say two ports, there are only two ports available. But more in the translation scripting guide about the internal ports, just be aware that these ports are indeed plugin internal. They are not visible outside of the plugin and you cannot use them to connect to a door or anything outside the plugin. So more about translation scripting in the translation scripting guides, but this is all for this update. Thanks for watching.